Hello everybody. In our last video uh, we did the installation process for the Honeycomb software for Xplane 11 and today we want to make a few configuration configurations inside the configurator. So let's get started. So I open up the configurator and uh, you maybe can see that um, currently I have uh, the device, this uh, Bravo Throttle device. I have uh, the default throttle template profile is already loaded. So this is also already installed when you um, make the after the installation. And yes, I selected the heading button up here. So and you maybe will see that behind this knob, behind this button, there's nothing. So we don't have a press event, we don't have, uh, and this press event, we don't have a condition and we don't have a variable. And that's the same for the release event. So why we don't have something here in the default uh, template? Uh, it's easy because the uh, tool, or you don't, you only need the tool uh, in Explain for the FCU selector. So for this knob up here, oh, go away. Uh, for this knob here and this knob here, and for the LEDs. So the button here, um, you also can do the configuration here if we want, if you want to, but. The uh, normal way is to do that inside Xplain. So just to show you that, uh, we can start up Xplain. And we go to settings, and then you should see so something like this. So when you installed the joy files, so the joy files, uh, you saw that in the last video, we put it into resource uh, in the Xplain folder. So Xplain 11 resources, joystick configs we put uh, everything into this folder when you do so you should see uh, this and when you uh, see here when you when you click on this button you can see here is uh, something saved so autopilot autopilot heading select and when you go to well, let's say to the gear handle there's also a function on it but when you now take a look at the these uh, buttons here, you see do nothing because these buttons are handled via the configuration tool. So inside Explain we have uh, something is, that is called data ref and commands. So what you can see here, these are commands. Um, I also have a list for that. I will put that in the uh, video in the description below. So uh, these are all the da uh, data refs that are inside Xplain 11. So you can see uh, lots of things, lots of variables that you can access. So sometimes you also can write to, to them, so you can make a, a change. Um, you can see that here, writable. So these uh, autopilot variable is not writable, but this one. This one is, and you also have the explain commands. So this is something where you, you you are taking commands when you want to to switch something, like for <laughs> yeah, uh, just for an example, you want to make a screenshot, you want to quit explain something like this, or you want to to um, switch on the autopilot. So now we want to start uh, to configure something. So we go back to our configurator. And now we will create a completely new, new profile. So we go to Actions, Create New Profile, give it a name. Mm, let's say, we call it Test. We use this throttle. If you are doing uh, creating a new profile, I would use or I would recommend that you use this function copy from. Copy from will copy everything from the selected profile and you just have to make your changes you want. So you could um, select here currently the, for example, uh, the default throttle template. And yeah, it will copy every, everything from the default throttle 
template profile and uh, you just have to make your changes and you don't have to do everything. So for this video we will not do that because we want to um, configure the FCU selector and in the default throttle profile it's already done so we will keep it empty right now and yes we want to select it uh, select the profile after creating it C click create so now we can see we still have the throttle here in the uh, viewport and now we have the profile test selected so when we now click on the fcu selector and we select the altitude so when this knob is on altitude we see nothing in here perfect so we will start from scratch so now we want to tell the simulator or the plugin inside explain that uh, we are selecting uh, selecting the altitude so we will um, open up uh, the variables on the in the press event and will enter an, in for this case an internal variable for the altitude so we'll go into here and we'll say int fcu underline selector and this is a string variable we don't have an index but we give it a, a value so we will call it or we will put the value inside this um, variable we put in inside this um, altitude we'll copy that for the future so copy and then we will go to let's do one more so we go through the vertical speed mode same here variable and now the uh, value vertical speed so we also can do that for the heading variables at variable value heading save so now we have um, configured the left knob now we can go to the right knob so we click on it and um, yes we can say we start with decrease so we go to decrease and then we click on press event now we go to conditions because we have to ask which one is selected on the other side we go to conditions and we will ask the internal variable what way will you do you have safe so we go say uh, condition is the fcu selector value altitude now we have to click here show vari variable area and now when the variable fcu selector have the value altitude we want to do something so in this case we want uh, to decrease the altitude value in the autopilot so this is a command so we have to see if we find something um, let's search for um, altitude search so ah, here we go sim autopilot altitude down copy that that's it so this is a command so we don't need a value on in, in, uh, in the most cases we don't need a value so we also did uh, the configuration on the left side for vertical speed so we will add a new condition so we'll now um, also ask the uh, for the uh, internal variable so the internal variable was uh, this and the value for vertical speed was vertical speed so we yes so show variable area and the um, variable or the command for um, vertical speed is 
I think it was nose down, something like this. Nose down. No, autopilot, nose down. Copy that. Variable. So y you're doing the same for heading for all the other modes, and you do also the same for decrease. So for decrease, we would also do that like this, but we, want, we would change the um, variables so when we um, take a look at the altitude down we, we would uh, take altitude i think it was called um, altitude up yes or for the vertical speed nose up so it's the same like uh, decrease so now we have um, configure the fcu selector we don't need to do the configuration for the autopilot buttons here but we need to make the configuration configurations for the LEDs. So, for example, yes, for the um, heading light um, here or for the master caution light down here. Um, so, how you can uh, configure the LEDs? To do so, we have to activate the LED mode. So, I'll click here, and we open it up. So, and then we will select the um, LED we want to set up. So let's say we will go for a master caution light. So, so now we have selected the master caution light and you also can uh, select the condition link. So when you have more than one conditions, you can say you want to link them together with an and or an or. So uh, just for an example, you would say for the um, engine on fire light, engine fire light, you would uh, say um, uh, you would use an or uh, link because you want to uh, uh, link the, um, the uh, all the engines you have with an or so that the light uh, switch on when one engine is uh, on fire and not the, uh, if um, uh, let's say on a 747 uh, you don't want uh, to have the light work only working when um, every four engines are on fire you want to have it on when just one engine is on fire so you would use an or and yes an and would be possible for let's say um, yes you would use it for the gear for example when it's in transition so in transition means that uh, it's not completely down or not completely up so you, you have uh, to use two conditions and then you would use an and so for the master caution uh, we don't need that right now and yes we will uh, make a new condition now we need the uh, data ref so we don't need the command because we don't want to switch something we want to ask some, uh, we want to ask for, for for value so we will go to the data ref search and um, let's go in here master Master caution, master caution on. That is in cockpit, but we also have something. Yeah, we have in cockpit two data ref, master caution. I want to take this. Copy that. Go back and say, enter this sim cockpit. And we, then we also have to enter the the value. So in this case, uh, it's uh, one. So if this data ref is one, then please switch on the light. Um, can do another one. So when we select another LED, um, let's say parking brake for example, we will also open up a new condition. Then we go back and search for parking brake, parking. So parking brake, I think this should work or sim, there should be another, I think. Let's search for park brake. There was an, ah, here we go. Sim flight motor controls park brake. 
perfect. Go and paste it into the condition. And this is also, let's take a look, float, writable, one is max, so should be okay when we write equal one. So let's take one more LED to also see the condition link. So let's take, for example, the starter light. So now condition, add a new condition and we have to search for the correct data ref. And um, there was something, I think, starter hit, something like this. Ah, oh, perfect. So here you can see that you have uh, eight variables for that. So it's an uh, array of um, values. And to do so, or to, to display that into, or to, to write this into the configurator, you have to do following. So go back to the configurator paste that uh, data ref into the condition. So we now we have it here. And now for the first starter, we will enter the index zero. And when the uh, first starter is on, so equals one, the light sh should go on. So now we maybe also have a second starter for let's say for the right engine not for the left engine then we add another condition paste the same data ref into that and now we will give them the index one also same equal same value so equal one and now we will link them together with an or so if the first starter is engaged or the second starter, the light will go on. So I hope um, this will help you uh, for creating your own profiles. Um, please keep in mind that you, um, when you make a new profile, please use the copy from function. And um, you also can do all the configurations here except of the axes for example, for the buttons here or for the buttons here, but you don't have to. You also can use the uh, standard configuration inside Xplain. So we can uh, shortly take a look again on it. So in the main menu, menu, you can go on settings, then to joystick, and then you should see something like this. If you don't see this, if you have a different configuration here, you can say reset to defaults and then he will set it to this here. So I hope you enjoyed the, uh, watching this video and uh, thanks for watching. Take care and see you soon.